All right, guys, so I have a little bit of a treat. This is going to be different compared to what you're normally used to seeing on the channel. However, this is a look at the gameplay, if you missed the Twitch stream, of the Aberration Expansion. This is going to show you guys rock drapes and a bunch of different stuff that's coming to the game. Uh, there's like a bioluminescent area and the ending of it and stuff. Like, it's actually really cool. I'm super hyped to play this. And on top of that, apparently if you don't have a light source, things are going to be hunting you actively and stuff. I don't know, it's going to be crazy. But guys, let me know your thoughts down below after you finish watching this. And, well, let me know if you're going to play Aberration or not. I'm going to have my own server up. For now, I have another ARC server up. Check it out in the description if you want to join and play with me and everyone else on that server. Leave a like if you enjoy ARC and you want to see more in the future. And, well, let's get into this. Twitch on itself, so if yes. you're here, you can come play it. This, this is, is the exactly. first time it will ever be seen outside of outside of in internal process mm -hmm. so we're very excited about it we're very um excited with what we've done so far oh yeah but, we should uh, and uh I'm yeah gonna... so for those of you who aren't familiar with aberration aberration is the third expansion pack it's the continuation Ooh, okay. of the story after the island and scorched earth um this is a very important uh, expansion pack for us because it's really where we can get into the grit of the story um august 29th we revealed the M boss and then you saw the sequence and like how, what happens after you defeat the, uh, the AI, the Overseer, and uh, I guess um, people start to become more interested in the arc story, like, hey, this is not just a dinosaur survival game, there is actually a reason why, why, everything, is why everything is going on. One second. And, uh, oh, just one second, we're just setting something up. We have to, we have to switch out PCs about 10 minutes before the, yeah, so the, we're stream, not actually the stream went live. Tribe. Did I spell that wrong? Worst player to join target tribe, zero. That is right. So uh -oh. okay, we just like just give to me in the thing. Yeah. Okay. I have a so feeling the tribe data is not those, here. If you're not familiar with the story behind aberration, it is um it is a derelict oh, malfunction arc with a with a focus on the with caves and, and an underground system. Um, we have there'll be like four main biomes, and uh, when you when you play the map, it will be a very new experience altogether. You'll be playing um. You won't, the, the biomes you see are very different to what you've experienced so far on the island. The, the biome you see right now is the, 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 fertilizer, the, fer, the, the fertile chamber, sorry, and it's part of the upper cave system. So as you can see, there's like a, there's another biome above it, which is the surface, and there's, there's like a crater and a hole, and that's allowed the sunlight to come in. So that's why this area actually has like, it's very luscious, right? Yeah. There's trees and there's mushrooms and there's... Big, there's, huge mushrooms. Yeah, and little mushrooms too. But foliage as well. So this is where everything is growing because it's getting the sunlight. Um, I think a, a really good part of this is like loads of caverns that you can kind of climb and then this huge cliff. So it makes a very, makes Yeah, you can see this in the background is, this there's a lot of cliffs. Exploring this biome is very fun, especially with the, the new items we've introduced to this game mode. Mm -hmm. um, there's some important gameplay aspects about Aberration, which make it very different to the other maps you've, you've played so far. So first of all, uh, uh, outside of the Fertile Chamber, Aberration is mostly underground and you're dealing with harsh and like, Harsh environments with a lot of radiation. There's a lot of environmental hazards. Like you can deal with poisonous gas. There's like poisonous gas. Sorry, um, you can deal with uh, like very extreme sunlight that can burn you. There's um, there's noxious gas and there are these like psychedelic mushrooms around. So there's it's it's I cannot get our cheese. It's pretty it's pretty so different is... to uh, yeah. One second, guys. It's pretty different to the other maps you've experienced so far. Um, with Scorched Earth, we had a lot of weather mm -hmm. hazards that were affecting how things worked, and then now it's uh, now it's a bit now it's more about the environment. So like the plants are dangerous, the animals and mm -hmm. the, the things there. Because so yeah, because there's not a lot of weather inside of caves. So we're, we've actually gone through different ways to to uh, incorporate localized hazards so yeah. like as john mentioned like we've got gas we've got oh, oh actually what's happening is, right now this is an earthquake that's we are happening in right an earthquake now. Yeah. currently as you can see we've got bits and pieces falling from the ceiling um there are actually resources that will sometimes fall from the ceiling as well yeah. we have uh one of the new resources is gems will fall from the ceiling and also rocks that you can just like literally go and yeah. pick up off the ground which is pretty neat um i'm not sure if that's the right password Right, we need to figure that out real quick. But yeah, so Jim Karen. Um something very important about aberration is that unlike the other maps, there'll actually be no flyers on this map. Uh we no won't flyers. be well, there's there's gliding there's gliding mechanics, but there there is yeah. no flyers, so you won't have a mountable flying creature and we're we focusing this, more on we have this dude. He is other forms of traveling, dude. yeah. 
<laughs> so, uh, we'll have, um, oh, sorry. I'm we'll just have... gonna walk around over here while we try to figure out, um, our, we had to switch computers right before this because we weren't able to download the build yeah. fast enough on this specific streaming computer, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna make do in the meantime. So, yeah. um, this build that we're actually playing in the physical structures build here was built by, oh wait, here's a gem by the way. We got a little purple. Yeah, gem so right gems there. are a new resource that you'll yeah. find in Aberration. There's actually three three different types of gems, and they're used to craft items that uh, they, they different the different gems are used to craft different aberration items. Yeah, so crafting ingredients. Something new that's that we've just put in for aberration. Yeah. So the, the purple gem here. I'm gonna walk us down here. So this build we have um, we have a, a great building team that we work with a lot, and they helped us build this really cool. Um, structure that's actually yeah. utilizing uh, one of the new, new structures for operation, which is the cliff platform, which works very similar to the tree platform, except um, it's basically a better tier. Uh, so it's a stone, and I think it also uses metal, so no more wood. Um, and then you just clip it right into these cliffs like this, and then you can have your little cliff base. That's pretty cool. We also have uh, one of the new items, which is the uh, ladder here, which you can pick up and put it basically wherever you want. And it's also uh, has an adjustable length on it, which is pretty cool. So you can just like attach it to the platform. And then it, I don't know if you guys remember from the trailer, but it'll actually like unroll yeah. as far as it needs to go until it hits the ground, which is pretty cool. You know what, if you guys just want to give a sec, let's switch to the webcam for a moment. I just want to check on something because because uh, we ended up switching computers last minute. One of our Password isn't working right now, so I just want to make sure why that's the case. Yeah. Um, let's have a look. Good save. Let's set up there. Well, oh, doing there that. we go. I'm. Oh. There we go. This oh, because be it's the wrong one. That's why. <laughs> that worked now. Yeah, it. there we go. We got it. Now I can go back and, and yeah. give us some of the items that I was going to talk there about. There we go. Okay. Let's <laughs> let's take it back to the game now. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna head back. We to should the... head all the way back to the beginning. You yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go back to the beginning. That way I can grab the stuff. We're well, wondering wanted. like, why why wasn't it working? But now everything you, makes like, sense now. Me and Jao, we always use the same password, and then somebody else set this up for us so we yeah. could get the stream stuff ready. And this the password was different. I just so. want to... Oop. What are you Oops, doing? Sorry. There we go. I just wanna get that camera up. All right, there we go. <laughs> okay, back at the beginning. I actually want to show something specific not off now that I have cheats, which is... Oh, um, yes. In Aberration, this is really neat. We have different variants of all the creatures. So as you can see on the screen, we have Aberrant Parasaurus. And you're saying to yourself, you know, what does that mean? So, I'm going to show it to you. That's time of day. Let's do... That should be dark. Did I do that? Need set time. I spelled you time wrong. Yeah, you missed the knee. Oh, boy. So, now that it's a little bit darker, you can actually see that these aberrant variants have these really cool patterns on them. And because aberration is, you spend so much time in the dark, we figured, how do we give players a way to get some sense of where they are or some sense of where the heck are all the creatures in this map? So, almost all of the um, non specific creatures to aberration, so like the Parasaur, for example, and um, there's like the Spino. Yeah. Uh, they all have, well, not, not all them. creatures, but, uh, but almost quite, all of them yeah. have these cool patterns that kind of glow in the dark. And, uh, you know, you can tame them. Yeah. Take them places. And, and these are the uh, the aberrant versions of the creatures. So something to note um, on official servers, we don't actually allow uh, people to be bringing on dinos or taking off dinos that aren't aberration on, on this specific map. But then that's why we have these aberrant vari variant creatures. So you can you can actually still get uh, some of the, the base game creatures on aberration. Yeah. So also we have. It's like a, later oh. today, I'll, I'll I'll release like a list of all the dinos yeah. that you can so find that aren't new creatures. They're actually like base game creatures that you can be found in Aberration. Uh, you guys probably remember this from the trailer. This is our little bulldog. Um, these are called lantern pets, and there's four of them. Uh, today we have two of them. We, we can show you throughout the day. This is the bulldog. So the bulldog's really cool in that he. Um, Basically, they work as lights because in Aberration, there is this um, new mechanic called Charge. And there are multiple 
weapons like the flashlight, for example, that will have charge, and these lantern pets all have charge. And you can collect charge by harvesting it. And yeah, it's available. It's a new resource. In yeah, the it's a new resource. Get, yeah. So basically, the charge keeps you safe. One thing from the nameless. Uh, that will come after you in the dark. So you always want to keep one of these little lantern guys with you. Yeah. Otherwise, they will come after you and you will have a sad time. <laughs> yeah. So not only are they super, super cute, but they're also um, necessary to your survival. So we're going to pick up our little bulldog. Bulldog. Yeah. And we're going to wear him. And you can see he's on my shoulder now. Isn't he so cute? Charge is actually very important to aberration um, because it's it affects all the creatures' environment in a different way based on how much they're exposed to charge. So some creatures can benefit from it. Some creatures are, are weakened by it. Their defenses are reduced. Um, it'll, it'll keep you safe. So it's a very important aspect of aberration. And uh, you can actually um, use charge to create charge, charge batteries, which can be used to power most electrical structures in the game. And this includes the, the previous items from Island and Scorched Earth. So uh, while Jat was talking about that, I got myself a set of hazmat gear. Hazmat gear is needed because a lot, as we mentioned, a lot of the um, hazards of aberration are things like radiation, things like gas, um, things like sunlight. If you're on the surface, sun, yeah, yeah, sunlight is actually a hazard once you're up on the surface. Yeah. Um. So the hazard suit's going to keep you safe from those elements, outside elements, to protect you against the environments and the elements. Yeah. yeah. We've also got our climbing picks, which I'm going to equip, and we've got our gliding suit. It's so, awesome. so this is very, very important part of aberration, and a lot of our design was based on this. Um, we intended the map to be created without the use of having like, like flies and pterodons, like uh, quets and pterodons, just go going everywhere. We wanted people to use uh, new mechanics of traveling, and one one example of that would be the gliding system. And we yeah, also yeah, new mechanics, but also fun mechanics. Yeah, not exactly. Oh yeah, there, there is there's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. and we also um, added in uh, the climbing picks and the. Uh, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna try to show lines, those off real cool. quick. We don't have a ton of time, but I just want to run through. And I will, oh, actually, let's go up here first. Because there's actually another thing up here that you guys will probably remember from the trailer, which is the zip line, which is right here, which I am not able to use right now, but that's okay. So basically, you would jump up on the zip line and slide all the way across, and then you would end up at the top there. Instead, I'm actually going to use our glider suit, which you can see right there. And we'll just jump off and I'll fly over there. Whee! It's pretty cool. It's, it's just a lot of fun. Cool just like is you can combine that. them. So now I've got my picks out. Bam! Now I'm hooked on the wall. Isn't that neat? So this is basically I would consider like a little. If you want to get around aberration, this yeah. is how you're going to be traveling. You're down. gonna you're gonna be gliding. You're gonna be using your your climbing picks, and we're just gonna climb on up. That easy. The, the green tells you, hey, you can actually ascend this oh, area. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, if you can't, it'll be a red, like there'll be a red yeah. uh, light instead. The green and also then, indicates direction, so I can move left and right as well. Yep. And of course, upwards. And then the blue means it's like a hop over, so it allows you to jump Ooh. up. And then, uh, yeah, and this is basically the main form of travel and aberration. You'll be, if you're playing the map, you'll want to get those skills tuned up. And as you can see, while I'm running around, my little, my little bulb dog has a little... Uh, circle of light around us that means that he's pr basically protecting me in that radius by giving me a light source um so we have one more cool actually one more and then a tease yeah. <laughs> so we've got some cool creatures over here that i know that uh, tons of people are excited about so we've got um these are I more examples there. of the aberrant versions of the creatures oh, the kana the iguanodon i know the iguanodon in particular looks really neat. yeah but, they're, uh, they're generally the, the your island counterparts, and um, I picked the one. But this is just the yeah the aberration versions of them. I love they. Oh, it's because it's because it's so lit up over here that you can't see yeah. them super well. Actually, you can see me when I walk around. You can see that my my bulb dog is lighting things up for me really yeah. well. But um, oh, you can see this uh, the stego. Oh wait, no, no, that's not the stego. Never mind. The stego actually has um. The lit up blades that are pretty cool. So, so right these, here, these are very cool. Yeah, why Everyone don't you tell me a little these. bit about these, Jack? So the rock drakes are like probably going to be everyone's favorite creature of the of aberration. I think <laughs> they have um, some very <laughs> awesome mechanics. Um, they're, they're, so something very cool about them is they actually feed off. They prey. Sorry, they don't feed. They prey on the reapers. So you guys may have known if, when you saw the trailer, the reaper was uh, that big creature at the end that's like scowling. Uh, we call them the xenomorphs back then. And uh, when they're in the vicinity of a reaper, they're like 
feathers perk up because you know they get excited they get to kill a reaper and they're pretty cool they can be tamed um, ridden and you're capable you're, you're capable of using them to climb and uh, like climb on walls and ceilings um, you can even go upside down and it doesn't like it doesn't affect you so you you've seen similar mechanics in the game with the Falico and the Megalonia yeah. and this is like a, a glider version of that it has a strong pounce and leap that kind of allows it to jump jump onto so when you're flying forward you can use it to like jump onto a wall like a, a clinging movement it's like a it's like the Falico's leap I guess right except this mm -hmm. is done like in the, in the middle of the air and um, it has its own dive bomb attack, attack and the, the way you find these uh, in its own trench area. So similar to how we have the Riven Trench in Scorched Earth, we'll have a trench area for the Rock Drake. Look at me go! I'm climbing everywhere! There's and also that. Oh yeah, yeah the stealth. The cloaking. That, that is pretty cool. You, you'll even see wild ones uh, stealth and... Yeah, it's pretty scary when you find one in the wild and they're cloaked up and they just like attack you and you're like, ah, what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> they're pretty tough, so you, you want to be careful when you come across one in the wild. And they're, they're, they're just they're really beautiful. Dark. Like, just, oh, yeah. The feathers are stunning. The, if you, you can see like the progression that the, the team has gone through from like the Thylaco to the yeah. Megalania now to this, just how much improvement has been made from all that practice. And this thing, this is, this thing's pretty darn fun. So we're gonna wrap up pretty soon here. I want to take us through a little flood. Oh wait, here's the iguanodon, by the way. Isn't that neat? Look at how cool that looks when it's all lit up. So I'm gonna actually use the glider for this because I think it looks really cool. Me and my bulldog. Actually, yeah, let's do that. So we're gonna take a little. Oh, actually, let's stop here really quick. I should. I have cheats on, so I shouldn't die. Oh. Um, oh, uh, well, that was right. rude. Yeah. <laughs> Will he let me go if I do that? Oh, no, he's not gonna. Let me go! How dare you! <laughs> you said the cheat kill it. Just get rid of it. There you go. Sorry, dude. It had to come to this. So this is... This is our gas... Woo! Hello. Earthquake. So there's a new item that you're gonna be using a uh, gas collector yes gas collector you put that on there you can farm gas like that it's actually toxic the only reason that i'm not um, experiencing side effects of that is because i have my full hazard protection and um, yeah it's keeping me safe so we we spoke about the fertile chamber earlier on and this is the area we've been in previously another biome that is actually really gorgeous over here. and very very cool is bioluminescence area and this we're just, is we're gonna take a now. little tease of it because i yeah. I, I want people we to won't show back. you too much there are going to yeah. be streamers streaming throughout the day showing showing off their experiences of aberration and uh, they're going to be doing their own exploring and revealing stuff so we'll give you a little sneak peek and then um we'll, do we'll have fly. them do they'll, they'll have their own fun later today i'm actually and you gonna can see more of it climb over here first can i climb over here there, we there go. you go thank you so now I can actually fly properly. So this, dun da da dun da da dun da 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 Ready? All right. Whee! Here we go. So this is the bioluminescence chamber. This is, this is like my favorite. It reminds me so much of like Avatar, for example. It's yeah. so pretty. It's pretty fun. We actually have something very special here. Oh, actually, um, before Jet says that, you can actually see some glow bugs up on my left side right there. I just want to point those out. Yeah. Um, for, for TwitchCon, we put in a little challenge for anyone who is actually attending the show. There is a, uh, a a Reaper Queen in the chamber, and if anyone is able to, you know, successfully do it, we would be very impressed. It's, it's not an easy fight, so there is one already set up on the mini-map for you to fight. I don't, uh, I mean, she is quite the, quite the beast, Yeah, so. you're probably gonna need a... <laughs> if somebody a does that, yeah, I, I want to come impressed. and watch if a streamer does do it live, it. <laughs> I'd like for a streamer to do it live. I mean, Roxilla's here later on. Maybe, maybe he's the guy to do it. No, I can't climb on that one. I fell. Oh, there's a crab over there. There's actually crabs in the water too. Yeah. And eels and all kinds of stuff. So this is a quick peek at the bioluminescence chamber. Uh, I think Jet and I are going to be wrapping up pretty soon yeah. because we have a streamer coming in after this. Yeah, exactly. I'm so well, guys, that wraps up that entire stream. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, well, then leave a like on the video.
I'm going to be covering Aberration 110%. It looks so freaking cool. What was your favorite part of this entire little snippet you guys got to see of the uh, demo of the game and stuff? Let me know what your favorite creature is going to be. What do you think you're going to tame first? For me, I'm going to be one of those bulldogs because I don't want things jumping out of the ground and eating me and stuff. Bad time ahead if if you don't. Yeah, they, they said that in the, in the thingy. Yeah, and... and hazmat suits and gliders let me know what you think is the best thing in aberration and i will see you in the next video